Sir, what an honor to meet you. Pleasure. A great pleasure, please. Do you speak a little French? Oh, naturellement. Ah bon, because my English is... Your English is better than my French. It's uh, special. <laughs> you know... But you speak about nine I, I, languages, I, I don't you? I talk so many languages that yes. finally I'm lost. Spanish, Italian, Armenian. She is the greatest love song ever. Yeah, yeah. It was not as good as that when I wrote it. Mm -hmm. But uh, Herbert Kretzmer gave another image of the song, and after that, I translated again his lyric. How many times have you been properly in love in your life? Maybe five. And does the five include your three wives? Three marriage and two uh, flowing in the air. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the secret of, of true love? Argument, never. One has to shut his mouth. And is that you? One, <laughs> one, no, one or the other. Right. That's a decision, you know. But it's very easy. And it's better. It's nicer. You worked with Sinatra. Yeah. What did you think of him? He was uh, a lover of Petrus too. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once we, we entered four big Four Magnums? Four. The two of you? Yeah. You and Sinatra? Yeah, and, and other people. He said to me, you, you have to drink what I drink. It was a sort of a whiskey. What's what yeah, Jack it? Daniels. Yes. He liked Jack he Daniels. He tried. I said, oh, ça c'est du pétrole. But you just gave me a speech about how I've got to be moderate. Well, that is special. It's with Sinatra, not alone. What, what did you talk about? About drinking, I guess. <laughs> Bob Dylan said that you were so great, it, it blew his mind. How did you feel when you heard that he said that? Uh, I, I, I was very proud because he was singing one of my songs. For me, he's the number one in America. Bob Dylan? Yeah. Mm. He became the top, and he stays the top. Have you met Kim Kardashian? No, never. Do you Next time I'm going to meet him. You want to meet her? Yeah, why not? My daughter, who lives in Los Angeles, mm. she knows her. Mm. She says she's a nice girl, OK. And uh, I'm going to meet her. I'm going to go. I meet the Armenian. I'm very proud of my people. You must be the, the man who has spent more time in a swimming pool in his life who's never learnt to swim, ever. What for? <laughs> On stage, I don't swim. <laughs> if you could go back and talk to the young Charles Aznavour, what advice would you give that young man? Learn, learn, learn. Every night, I read something in different language. Every night, I read a part of a book. Every night, I, I try to memorize the impossible. Because after 14 or 15 years old, you can't memorize like before. I wanted to end the interview with you just singing a little bit of she. You sing. You want me to sing and it? I listen. <clears throat> she. Maybe the face I can't forget A trace of pleasure or regret Maybe the... <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> not bad, eh? Yeah, not bad. It's... If you stop... Stop there. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was great. I tell you, I could have... I wanted to go out for a long lunch with him, because what we didn't have in there... Which was, was a couple of magnums of champagne. No, 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 it was just that he gave me this big... I said, what's the secret to being so fit at your age? He said, everything in moderation. So he eats half portions of everything. He, uh, he said, I don't really drink very much. You know, I don't have one cigar every now and again. Very sort of moderate. And then he told me the story about the night out with Sinatra. Four magnums of Chateau Petrus and Jack Daniels. I mean, that is a lot between two guys. Moderation is for character. Uh, but what a character, what a talent. Imagine, he's 94 next oh. week, I think. Um, loved him. Loved Charles Aznavour. He's what, he's sort of the old school. I mean, there aren't many left, are there? From that generation. It's know? that look in his eyes. I just mm. don't love it. Singing. It's That's absolute a... horror, isn't it? No, it wasn't horror. No, no, no. It was absolute <laughs> admiration. It was... It was endurance. It was admiration. Funny enough, he himself, when he first started, uh, the, the critics hammered him, said he, he was too ugly, he couldn't sing, he was too short, <laughs> and he wrote terrible songs. And people were laughing about it. He said, I didn't do too badly. <laughs> it turned out one of the great singer-songwriters in history. Haters gonna hate. Yeah. Charles yeah. Aznavour will perform his only UK gig at the Royal Albert Hall on the 30th of June. You're gonna be there? 
I'm there. Oh, I'm there. I'm taking my parents, who oh. absolutely love him, and uh, my wife, because we had, we sang, or we had some of his songs at our, our wedding. He, he honestly, you should learn the words, by the way, to she. I'm working on my. I'm working on it. I am better. Fun enough, I'm better after I've drunk Jack Daniels, and singing generally. Aren't we all?